Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with the daily race on the sport mode um, at Kyoto Driving Park. Um, this was on um, yesterday, I think it was, when we did this race. Um, driving the BMW M4, obviously in the GR4 class. Obviously we're going to pick this car after we found that about the um, fuel with this car. Um, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out the video um, with regards to the fuel issue with this car, whether it's an issue. Some people are saying it's not an issue, but um, I'm pretty sure it is a little bit overdone, the amount of fuel you can save. So, obviously, straight away, short shifting a little bit with this car, as you know, get, try and save a bit of fuel. I wasn't sure which strategy we were going to run. Um, I'd already tried doing a no pit strategy, uh, but we ended up getting hit out on knocked out which then we slid when we got hit and we took a lot of life out of our tyres and they were just dead by the end so for this race I wasn't too sure what we were going to do um, frustratingly we didn't spend too long on the qualifying I only managed to get down to a 39.6 although I know for a fact now after driving this more I reckon I can get very close to a 39.1 or 2 um, and it did put us in a, re a bit of an awkward position in the races but it actually made for more entertaining races because our race pace was actually really good um, it was one of the best uh, pretty much at the top of what um, out of all the races I came across it wasn't really anyone that could just pull away from me I was really comfortable with my pace and um, comfortable with how I was driving wasn't making many errors um, the guy behind me made it I mean when I look back on it the move wasn't that bad in the previous race when he hit me out um, it was just a bit aggressive and I, I wasn't expecting him to throw it up where he did and uh, so I was a little bit cautious of him behind me but um, I don't think he was a dirty driver I just think um, it was just a case of wanting to make a move and it just played out the way it did anyway so getting back to the racing seat though we're in fourth position two three guys ahead of us obviously um, some really uh, the, the, the whole race was um, I think there was only one A class driver in this race so it was a field of SS rated drivers so S, uh, DRS rated and safety rated the S so it was a really tough competition in this race um, 20 drivers you know some quite well known racers in there you got VP Dofra, Dofra whatever his name is um, I think mainly came from um, Project Cars I'm sure that driver um, As we're so we're, we're doing reasonably well at the moment you can see I'm short shifting so we're not really pushing the revs all the way doesn't seem to lose you too much it definitely does lose you a f it kind of loses you the f smallest fraction of time but what you gain back in terms of um, fuel safety is so much more I don't even think it loses you a tempo over the lap and what it actually does on some corners is it actually gives you a little bit more grip going through the corners it, it really does you can see it in um, certain places where I'll like short shift and I'll go into shift gear and I can really get on the power nice and early without the front sliding off the track but it really it really was um, an enjoyable track. This is definitely one of my favourite um, tracks in GT Sport that isn't a real track, um, you know, one of the fictional tracks. It's just got a real nice flow to the track. It's got sh slow corners, fast corners, um, corners where you really need to fling it in and um, attack them. Uh, it's just such an enjoyable corner. I've really started to master, get used to this track and the lines you need to take um, to really get some fast laps in. So this is what I'm really looking forward to next time there's an endurance race either the GR3 or the GRM4 if I get on the game you know obviously I don't play the game every day we do we don't we don't just stick to one game we try and get at least three different games in our channel so next time I'm on the game hopefully we can see if this is on there again at some point in the future and we'll um, race it again and try and get our qualifying a lot more competitive because I think the quali the qualifying actually restricted me a bit and um, I feel like I had a lot more pace to give but as you can see now third place the guy who actually got pole was um in the top 10 stars he uh, made a mis mistake coming out of that corner by looks of it and we got right behind him ran a little bit wide there but managed to get quite a tight line into the corner but however got a random amount of understeer there it just really kicked in and you can see we scraped along the wall just about held control of the car um, seeing the guy on the left going down so I'll give him space cut back in try and get in his slipstream knew that his exit would be compromised slightly on there so I knew I'd be able to get in his slipstream and maybe start catching back up a bit but we're down to fifth place so not the best start that was a, that was an error made on my behalf um, I obviously went into the corner too hot went wide got back into the apex but I put the power down too early and I felt the understeer building up and um, real real um, real stupid mistake but it did seem to get a little bit of random on, on the seer but um, I still think that was just personal error um, silly error to make um, not I didn't really make too many errors in this in this um, track I was really in the rhythm of the track so I say I really enjoy this track 
Um, definitely one of the better tracks and it, it does make me want more obviously real tracks and fictional tracks and um, like Gr Grand Valley I really really want that track to come on this game at some point in the future whether it does who knows so you can see now in fifth place and um, attacking ahead as far as we can go um, which, which we're pushing reasonably hard while trying to obviously save that for you, fuel you can see um, we're down to 5.7 I could have probably saved a bit more but I'm just pushing the revs to about yeah, just letting them build up in the red a little, in the red a little bit, and um, ensuring that we've got enough fuel to really save some fuel when we get to the pits, the pit stage. So you can see there, um, we should have really been further up now at this stage after that stupid error, and it would have probably given us. We would probably would have been about second after two seconds up the track. I think we would have been able to overtake third because we seem to be really struggling. You see, we're actually starting to catch him back up again already. Um, but again. This is it's actually a hard track to overtake on unless you get a real good slipstream coming in through Sirius Circles. This is a place where you can actually get an overtake on, but it is a very risky place if you get a real strong. You can see the slipstream building, building, and building as we're in seventh gear there, but it's just too risky. I that's where the guy in front actually made a move on me in the first race I did, and it caused an incident. So I'm quite cautious on that corner to make a move because you end up pushing them out wide and then ends up in disaster for both of you because you get penalty so easy so we fake a little move down look down left i'm not going to throw that one up the inside i'm not the type of driver that will just throw a move up when i know that it's too risky but i just like to give him a little uh, view that you know just be cautious I I'm, I'm getting closer I'm, I'm gonna make a move if i feel i've got a chance but i'm not the type of driver that will just throw one up the inside like that there it's too risky for him it's too risky for me um, all that's probably going to happen is he's not going to see it we're going to come into contact the game's stupid penalty system which still isn't existent i've experienced it um, a couple of times already um, yesterday um, it's not as bad as it was i'm going to say that straight away it is 100 percent not as bad however it is still really bad it needs fixing still um, the fact that you still have to take your penalty instant it just caused so much trouble i mean I see, I see there was a guy in, I think it's in this race where you're going to see it. And like, if I would have been a bit closer to him, it would have been disaster. And I had a rate in the first race, I had an incident where I got the penalty and I had to serve it pretty much in a chicane. So I tried to get out of the way on one part of it and then I'm out of the way on another part of it, just trying to get out of the way of cars. And you can see it just causes mayhem. It's just it's just daft. They, they need to fix that. And maybe give people two laps to get rid of your penalty. You know, at least at least then you're going to only lose about two seconds. The way it is at the moment, you end up getting out of the way of people, receiving more penalties, and you end up with about a 10 second penalty. It's really daft. Anyway, getting back onto the action, as you can see there, a real big slipstream. I have noticed when you short shift as well, because you're in seventh gear so early, you really do build up some slipstream. And um, I think that's where a lot of people get a real good slipstream on me in the past, and I wasn't been able to get it as well. But now we're doing that short shift, and we're really getting into that slipstream getting some real good chance to overtake again i'm gonna have a little look I, I show him that i'm looking but again i'm not stupid i know that's not going to be an overtaking opportunity going through these real tricky corners he seems to get a bit of a moment there going through the corners you can see there his rear stepping out we're going to get into his slipstream i'm gonna this is a real tricky position as well but i know that people get a bit scared in this corner. i'm gonna have a little look down left and i think yeah i'm gonna just go for that i'm gonna give him space though and um, stay on the inside and give him space if he needs to be, but he just looked like he he just gave me that i think he didn't want to get involved with it I think he was just happy to let me go there and just um, not fight that too much. So what we'll do is we'll go back and have another little look just to show you how much I could, I could tell he just give me the corner. So I pull out to the left, break round about a little bit later than what he should. I could see him going really wide. I stay to the inside, give him plenty of space if he needs it, and then just take the normal line because I can see that he's behind me in the mirror. So clean racing, nice overtake. That's one overtake done, and we're back up to fourth position. Now we really want to get in them podium positions. I'm approaching the pit stop phase now you're going to see we're going to we're on the end of lap five so it's time to pit if we're going to pit i decided yeah i'm going to go for the pit i could have probably have eat this out and short shifted a bit but i thought you know we didn't save as much fuel that we would have liked in that first phase i could have done it more drastic we go into the bits the guy behind us stays out we put the hard tires on we just need five five liters of, uh, five laps of fuel we're already on 3.6 so it's going to be a short pit so you can see there we're going to put 4.8 in us and no as I can, I can save the fuel we come out and we gain a lot of places you can see there although we're in fifth we're technically gained a few places and we've actually overtook the guy who was behind us when we made the mistake earlier in the race and we're right behind the guy that was second in the race and that third position is the guy who was in first uh, i think second position needs to pit there still and the guy in first is the um guy who was just behind us before we went in the pits and it looks like he's going to go for the no pit stop strategy so it's going to be a race of um 
many different strategies and we seem to have really good pace you can see there the Audi struggling a bit there we go wide try and do a little bit of a cut back but I've got a guy behind me I need to be cautious he doesn't make a move so attacking him now try and get back in the sixth room the Audi took quite a nice line actually there he took it nice and tight I expected him to struggle a bit more on the exit than he did so we didn't really gain much on him there going into this real fast complex of corners I really, really enjoy this once you get in the rhythm of these corners it's so risky that if you just go in a little bit too aggressive you risk the penalty and obviously um, running like the guy did before to me going a bit wide getting scruffy and losing that rear going into his tight corners again i really got the hang of these corners get nice and tightened on the power nice and early i've managed to get them so there's a guy behind me has a little look as well it's really difficult because at the moment i'm trying to defend while attack as well so these corners well, i love these corners there i've really got got them sus as well about getting it into that early eight, the, the attack in the first part of the apex and then swinging it into the next part so down into third giffus final corner going into the back straight into the slipstream of the car ahead um, the Audi TTs have got a lot of straight line speed we're going to short shift in the slipstream we should be able to stay with them and actually gain a bit you can see they're starting to gain on the car ahead going into the um, real tricky corner this um, but we've got fresh tyres on so we should be okay down into fifth gear try and hold as tight a line to that apex as you can you really want your left tyre how the guy in front of us had it there you want it on that left hand that the um, blue bit of tarmac that's where you want your left hand tyre a lot of grip on that do not run wide it, it just loses you so much time and um, so attacking these corners again in the slipstream the guy behind us has fallen back a bit there you can see and um, maybe he made a mistake at some point on that corner and oh, up ahead you can see the guy who's not pitted yet uh, second it seems to be struggling a lot there i don't know whether he's struggling with the tyres it probably will be the tyres obviously um, we're hitting laps end of lap seven now and um, so his tires are really old you know with the, the time seven or eight fuel or tire wear whatever was on and um, we're just trying to keep it nice and safe i can see it's getting really close up ahead and this is the phase of the race where you need to be very careful because you've got cars battling away and the way this game throws out penalties now you really need to be cautious in any overtakes you do and any aggressive driving that you do so you can just see us now holding back evaluating the situation ahead of us just seeing if anyone's going to make any mistakes and um, just leaving enough of a gap for myself to respond i don't want to be getting too close but going into that final corner i really want to be getting close to the action to make sure that we can take advantage of any mistakes made so just look how close it is now you can see second place really struggling with that tie way is really starting to step out he manages to save that just about clips it into the guy who's now in second position fourth place it becomes third as he goes down the um, outside and we're going to get in the slipstream of that m um, down the straight he's now in the Audi slipstream but we've got that inside line and obviously you want to be on the inside line with nice fresh tires not on old tires on the outside line so we take that position another move made and that guy loses about four positions and and now well three positions and under attack from another guy so he's about to lose a lot of positions let's have a little look at the replay of that from um, a full screen so you can see all of us battling away down the straight this is what um s rated driving is all about the drs rated driving and the top split races nice close competitive racing we're going into that corner stay on the inside give him plenty of space i didn't want to push him out wide give him the room that he needs he's not going to be able to battle us so we don't need to be pushing him out wide and i think give him plenty of space and we're in that position a nice move made rejoining the action now as we've got third and second really close racing between them two guys they're in the same car we're in the m4 that guy's really strong on this track but it's it's mainly strong in a straight line as a guy on the inside there in second position is taking a real tight line i decide to back off here as i could see them getting a little bit um i could see something happening again so i back off try and get a nice clean exit from that corner um not really any opportunity to make a move i have a little look down that left hand side just so he's aware that i'm, I'm you know looking at that i'm not gonna again i'm not gonna make that move it would just be suicidal it'd be such a stupid mate move to make from there and um, we're going back up the straight now up the hill um looking again this is a place where you can make a move but we've fallen too far back we didn't get a nice enough exit from that really fast chicane but that's no issue you know all we've got to do is just stay in the slipstream we take our tight preferred line through that corner get on the power nice and early and you can see it really does favor the m4 seems like the audi does struggle a little bit more on that corner with obviously its drivetrain 
they seem to get a bit more on the steer there so we're able to catch up through them corners um, but obviously on the straights it adds a little bit more acceleration and can pull away a bit but if we can stay in this extreme I know we've got a good chance of getting some positions here so going into the final corner now onto the back straight and again we get in this slipstream we get a nice clean exit from that corner you can see the slipstream we get we're getting now however he's also got a slipstream off the guy in front so we're just all compacting together and it's getting really close going into the final two laps just two laps to go obviously you've got the guy in the lead there on the no pit stra no pit stop strategy as well really starting to struggle you can see how much we're gaining in on him we're only 3.8 seconds behind him 3.5 or something like that and we've just two laps to go so it's going to be a real nail biting finish as you can see there going through these fast flowing corners the Audis tend to pull away on, on the fast parts but now we're in the slipstream we've got a real big slipstream coming through and from the guy in front now and we're starting to close up again I'm going to back off again because it looks like it's just going to get a little bit um, you know risky between them I take a nice tight line on that car I can see the guy up ahead making a little error I get really tight to the apex as I'm making the move into, into sixth gear I stay to the left give him space we're back we get into third position there so I know that I'm um, actually really close to him so I'm going to stay on that inside I'm going to try and make this move count I break nice and early give myself a nice tight line to give him plenty of space and he runs off down the wide and if you look in that top right he's giving me a flash I don't know why he is flashing his lights at me we're going to go back and have a little look at that I, I, I don't know what he was thinking flashing me because I gave him plenty of space you can see there I break early he outbreaks himself misses the apex runs off the track wide and decides to flash me and thinks I should give him that position back yeah okay I'm gonna um, that's not gonna happen <laughs> so we'll have another look at that and how we made that move we started it very early look how close to the left hand grass we got with that left hand tyre giving ourselves a real nice exit from that corner we get in our lead there briefly there he's back in the lead there so I know I'm pretty much side by side I, get, I just squeeze him a bit to the right side give him plenty of space so break nice and early take the apex perfectly he runs wide and has to go over the grass gets himself a penalty and decides to blame me by flashing them lights but let's be honest we're not going to give him that position back not a chance i'm a fair racer that was a fair move i made the move stick i pulled it off he he failed in his defense there to be brutally honest i personally think he should have braked early got back in between behind us on the slipstream and then made a move down the straight going on the long straight where his car is a lot faster than ours so that was just person i think he just made a stupid error there but we, we managed to stay in the uh, get that position and we're in the podium positions now um in a real strong um race with a lot of tough competition so going down the um final straight now for the last well second to last time obviously going on to the final lap and we've got the leader and second place in our sides this is going to be a real real entertaining finish as you can see there going through the final corner you can see how much the guy in the lead is struggling with them tires he's trying to take that wide line and give himself exit speed that is really important to do when you've got them tires that are fading try and give yourself the exit speed rather than uh, speed through the corner if you're not defending too much it will really help you in the defense at the end of the next straight as you can see there he's gone down the right hand side this is looking like it's going to get a little bit um close between them and there's actual contact between them there as a guy in the lead gets the move done I don't know what happened but he runs real wide he hits the wall we just back out of that and then see the guy breaking in front of us where he's obviously got a penalty for something but let's just, I think the guy in the lead might have a penalty for scraping that wall there I'm not too sure goes into this chicane really fast so maybe not but then it looks like he cuts that corner there so did he get a penalty you can see this this is where I'm talking about with the um the, with the issues with the penalty system you see there he slams on to get rid of his penalty if I would have been close to them before the, his, car go, his car actually ghosted we would have got a penalty and we're gifted with a nice first position going into the, the last few corners so a great entertaining race we managed to get into the lead um, guy behind us well, I'm not, I think the penalty was too strong but whether he cut that corner I'm not too sure um, I think he actually cut the corner on the first part of the chicane which is why he got the penalty otherwise he would have took that penalty earlier and you can see us going into the final corner nice clearly now we've only got the guy behind us got struggling tires he's not going to be any you know there's no way he's going to catch us up going over the line a um, little bit of fuel left 0 0.2 0 0.1 liters of fuel that's that's okay we've managed to get the win and a really entertaining race and a great result from four four i think we started four from the grid or fifth so places made overtakes done a bit of luck and we've got the win anyone uh, anyway guys thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more of these videos make sure you give this a video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and we'll be back with more sets of course of project cars 2 and gt sport videos very soon thanks again for watching